Thank you for purchasing our Loop Point of Purchase display. We've put together this short instructional video to ensure you're all set up for getting your customers in the loop. Before getting started, it's important to register your Loop POP display on our website. This will establish your retail store as a designated Premier Loop dealer on our authorized dealer map and ensure you're always up to date on new Loop products for your display. A few tips before assembling your Loop POP display. It's important to place your Loop POP display in a location where your customers will see it. Walk your store with the proposed layout of the POP in mind. If you don't notice the display, your customers won't either. Also, remember you will need 120 volt power for the lighting system. It's best to place it in a location out of direct sunlight. Each product is marked with its designated assembly step. When installing screws and wing nuts, Always have the screw head facing the viewing area and use the wing nut in locations where your customers won't see it. It will make your POP display look much cleaner. The longer screws are used for attaching items to support rails. The shorter screws are used with the center wood rack. Assembly Instructions Step 1 Unpacking the Loop Display Rack To prevent damage to the rack and graphics, we recommend unboxing the display rack with the box in a vertical position. Carefully cut the box away from the rack at the tape seam and remove the outer cardboard box. It's very important that you do not unpack the box in a horizontal position. Doing so may cause damage to the items inside. Unpack and separate the inventory items from the rack assembly items. Step 1. Slide the two back panels together, ensuring the aluminum crossbar fits into T-fittings, and ensuring the two holes on the horizontal bar match the two holes on the back panel. Attach two back panels to main display stand using Hardware Pack 1. Step 2. Attach the two side bins to back panels and main display stand using Hardware Pack 2. Step 3. Slide the sign header sidebars into the T fittings behind the sign header and attach to sign header using screws. Attach the light fixture support arm to the back horizontal bar using screws. All of the screws for this step are in Hardware Pack 3. Slide the sign header sidebars into the T-fitting on main display and attach the sign header to the rack. Step 4. Attach the side shelving units to the left side of the display and back panel using Hardware Pack 4. Step 5. Mount the loop hinge kit assembly to the center shelf of the main stand using Hardware Pack 5. Slide the sizing guide next to the hinge mount kit. Step 6. Install the Orbit IC LED light into the light fixture support arm by sliding light through the fixture clip. Move cord behind display rack and attach cord to mounting arm using pre-installed Velcro straps. Step 7. Feed the light fixture cable and transformer cable through the hole in the back panel. Connect both cable plugs to the lighting manifold hub. Step 8. Install the front graphic support to the main display using Hardware Pack 8 and a small Phillips head screwdriver. Step 9. Carefully attach the graphic panels to the display as shown using Velcro. Attach the large top graphic first, followed by the smaller center graphic. Step 10. 
Step 10. Install the front sliding door to the main display stand. You can store additional inventory and replacement parts inside the stand. Step 11. Using the included planogram, place loop products in designated locations. Place the Orbit IC LED lights on the right hand side with the largest 48 inch fixture in the back, moving forwards with 36, 24, then 18. The extra space on the right of the lights can be used for additional Orbit IC inventory or new lighting products as we add them. Place the Accessory Wave Pump 660 on the top left shelf followed by the Accessory Wave Pump 1050 and 2100. The middle shelf can be used for the wave pump manifolds and extension cables. Place the loop hinge kit on the bottom shelf. Place the orbit adjustable arm mounting brackets in the bottom left bin. Store any additional loop merchandise, replacement parts, and accessories in the center storage cabinet. Connect power to your loop POP display and turn on the light using the main power button. Program the light fixture to your retail store hours using the instructions included with the light. Your display is now complete. Welcome to Loop and thank you. To maximize the sales potential of your Loop POP display, please be sure you and your sales team watch the Loop POP display sales videos at www.current-usa.com backslash loop-sales-video.